Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Trainings. My name is Faiza Alam and in uh, today's session we will be knowing about the online customer form. That is the another way of how the leads can be captured. So as we all know that uh, under the uh, we cannot uh, sell out a product or service without its marketing. So marketing comes first and its main aim is to generate and increase the sales of the goods and services. It creates a perceived value for sales. It creates interest and position the product in the mind of customers. So how can we capture leads with the help of online forms? We'll be knowing about that. So online customer forms are used to receive the information about the customers, leads and contacts from the website. And with this, the customers can also update their information if uh, there is a need for it. So as we all know that leads are not our uh, actual customer these are the ones who are interested in our uh, products or services so uh, when they visit our website so we should have a we should have certain kind of information about those uh, leads so that can be gathered with the help of online customer forms so now we'll uh, see how uh, can we create the online customer form in our netsuite application So there are certain marketing preferences that are required to be set. So for that reason, we'll go into setup marketing. Here we have the marketing preferences. So this is these are the general preferences. Here we can select the template folder on which we can keep the marketing template so that it will save our time. We can use those templates. Then we can also uh, select a default reply email address here. Along with that, we can also select the default from email address, like from which email address our customers are receiving notifications and messages. Here we can define the campaign domain and various other uh, preferences can be defined here. This is about the subscription uh, related uh, status of the of our leads. We can define those statuses here. Along with that, we can also uh, define the lead source on sales transaction. So here you can see that this uh, based on lead source option is selected. If we want to select any other option like first campaign and most recent campaign send, so we can uh, select uh, those transactions that will be using on the sales transaction. So this is about the general preferences that can uh, we can uh, set. After this, uh, we will move. Uh, how can we create an online customer form? So for that, we'll go into setup marketing. Here we have the online customer forms. So these are all the forms that are already there that have been created. We'll click on the new one. So we here we it will ask us for default form template or custom HTML template. So we will take this default form template here. So we have to provide a title for it. So this is the title if we want to dis, uh, mention any short message uh, for it so we can define that uh, message here you can see that is this enable online um, checkbox is checked here now we have to select the fields you can see that by default subsidiary is there because it is a mandatory field so we will not be uh, changing it now we have to define the first name and last name that a uh, customer can provide it so we are taking this and uh, you can see first name is there if we want to keep this field mandatory so we can check this box I am checking it and if we want to for somehow reason if you want to hide this field so you can uh, check this box here but I am making it mandatory I am not hiding it then we will be taking here the last name so address can also be taken it is also it should be mandatory address I am not making mandatory then email I am making it mandatory
company name so i am taking these uh, fields here onto my form and i have made just first name last name and uh, email is compulsory subsidiary can also be made compulsory here so we have provided the required fields that we want to display onto our form and if we go into the detail message so if we want to uh, more uh, elaborate your uh, form so you can provide a detail message for it then if we go into the setup workflow so because uh, you know uh, when a uh, lead uh, visit our website so definitely there must be some contact information so we are creating customer as company so this box is checked and uh, usually the status of the leads can be uh, left as unqualified so if we want to select or if we, uh, these uh, leads are becoming our prospects that can be in different scenarios so we can uh, select a different status for our leads then here uh, we are having the lead uh, source uh, setting uh, that can be provided so i am taking here this b2b lead nurturing and you can see that this allow update on customer record and contact record these are already uh, checked here because whenever a customer want to uh, make certain changes to their information so that they can do that by uh, checking uh, as these boxes are checked and if we want to set any campaign events if we want to define any subsidiary so we can define that then redirect to form so uh, what happens when we uh, save this form so an external url will be generated so whenever a customer or whenever we want to uh, whenever we log in to that url so we will be redirected towards a certain form if we want to redirect our customers to, to certain other forms so we can select those forms from here if we want to these are all the different forms that are there i'm not selecting anyone so after setting up the workflow we can also uh, change the appearance of our, of our form so you can see that uh, how many number of columns are given a single column list is there if we want to uh, you know show the column as two three four so we can define that color theme can also be defined font can be defined button alignment so this is about the submit button so it, it will be shown towards the right uh, right is selected by default if you want to select it on the center or on the left so we can define our preferences here so we have defined the fields we have uh, mentioned the message title is also provided now we'll be saving it so our form has been generated and you must have noticed that previously this uh, sub tab was not visible here this external but as soon as we have saved the form the external uh, sub tab is appearing here under which the link has been generated uh, with the help of which we can get to know about the form that the customers or our leads can be fill can fill so we, if we click on it so you can see that this is the form that we have created the message that i have provided over there is there this is about the launch of a new uh, version of the software first name last name and email uh, fields are mandatory here address line is given company name is given and the button uh, uh, is for submission of the form is given here so in this way uh, an online form can be created uh, okay uh, this subsidiary field is hidden here so i i have removed the checkbox from there so again if we go and see see it now you can see that subsidiary is also appearing here and we are having the option of uh, multi select option is available we can uh, select the required subsidiary here so in this way an online form can be created so that we can have the information of uh, how many customers uh, are there uh, into means how many leads are there who are interested for becoming our prospects and then our customer so that uh, and if they at any point of time if they want to uh, update their information so they can do it with the help of uh, this uh, url so that's all about the online customer form thank you